I don't know why anyone gets a pet monkey. I think when you get to the monkey level of pet ownership, have a kid, really. I mean, you're so close. You know, make that little jump. When you need a pet that can roller skate and smoke cigars, it's time to think about a family, don't you think? I mean, you can't even do anything with a monkey because monkeys, he has a little leash for it, you know, like he's gonna walk it, but monkeys don't walk anywhere. Any place a monkey has to be, yeah, he's already there. You know what I mean? They just, yeah, he's there, he's on the wall, yeah, he's on, something. He's on your head, yeah, pull, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're so wired, their faces, that face skin is pulled so tight, it's just... That's the look you have on your face when you come that close to being the dominant species on your planet and you don't make it. You're just... I was so close, I had the thumbs. So I see him out in the front of the building walking with the monkey. It's, I do, and it's like, they're not walking. They're just like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's on some guy's head, yeah, Jalen, yeah, Paul, yeah, yeah. It's not like a dog, you can walk any dog. You take a dog out, you put a leash on him, he immediately understands it. You yank that leash, his body flips up into the air. Dog never gets upset, he looks around like, I'm sure I had that coming to me for something. I don't know what I did, but I'm a dog. I understand my position. <laughs> Not a monkey boy, because, you know, they're just... I hate being alone with it. Sometimes the guy splits, and I'm sitting there in the couch, and the monkey is there. Did you ever be face-to-face -face with a monkey, just you and him? It's... You know, you just go, did we go to high school together or something? I... I don't know. Can I get you banana daiquiri? I don't know what to say to you. The only thing we have to say in the behalf of monkeys is that they contributed to the space program, right? Monkeys were the first astronauts, which is, I'm sure, came as great news in the monkey world. I'm sure that made perfect sense to the monkey. I see, so instead of the little bellhop uniform, you want me to blast off and orbit the Earth at supersonic speed. <laughs> yeah, I feel that it is the next logical step for me. Because I've been working with the Italian guy in the crank organ, I feel I can handle the maximum re-entry G-forces.